in chapter number 7 uh, we are discussing the topic of revenue and uh, in our last session we have discussed that revenue means money earned by a firm by selling goods and services in a given time period and there are three types of revenue total revenue marginal revenue and average revenue and we have discussed that total revenue is the total amount of money earned by a firm by selling goods and services in a given time period the formula to calculate total revenue is price multiplied by quantity sold so price into quantity if price is dollar 5 quantity is 500 then 5 multiplied by 500 this 2500 is total revenue and total revenue can also be calculated by adding marginal revenues for all the units uh, so this is uh, the sum of marginal revenues so we can add marginal revenue of the first unit and marginal revenue of the second unit and so on marginal revenue of the last unit in order to get total revenue next definition is marginal revenue it is the extra revenue earned by a firm by selling an extra unit whenever we are defining anything which is marginal we use the word extra or additional two times so its definition can be additional revenue earned by a firm by selling an additional unit of output or the extra revenue earned by a firm by selling an extra unit of output so if you compare that you have to use the word additional two times or the word extra two times i'm a bit lazy so i use this word because it has uh, less number of letters in it can be quickly written so that's why i use this word extra uh, marginal revenue is the addition in total revenue and marginal revenue is the gradient of total revenue graph if you draw the total revenue graph the gradient or slope of total revenue is marginal revenue which is the rate of change of total revenue so uh, the formula to calculate marginal revenue is change in total revenue over change in quantity tr2 minus tr1 over q2 minus q1 so if we have uh, two values of quantity is given 5 units and 6 units the extra unit here is unit number 6 unit number 6 that is the extra unit now for this unit number 6 we want to calculate marginal revenue so uh, the total revenue earned by selling these 5 units which is quantity q1 is $500 and uh, the total revenue earned by selling 6 units together that is 560 extra revenue or the addition in total revenue is $60 which we can calculate by using the formula change in total revenue over change in quantity so 560 minus 500 divided by 6 minus 5 so answer will be dollar 60 which is the addition in total revenue because of this extra unit which is unit number 6 and marginal revenue may not be the same as the price of the additional units sold what does this mean now let's suppose we have some data this is the data about price and quantity let's suppose price is 7 8 9 and 10 and the quantity is uh, 4 5 6 and 7 so you can calculate total revenue as 28 40 and 54 and 70 now you can calculate marginal revenue which is the addition in total revenue so this 40 minus 28 that is equal to 12 and you can see here that this is not the price of this product so a price of product uh, the unit number 5 if quantity is 5 the price is $8 but marginal revenue is $12 so marginal revenue may not be equal to the price it may be equal to price if price is constant but um, it's not always the case so marginal revenue may not be the same as the price of the additional unit sold i hope i have made my point and you have got the point acha unit number 6 ka agar hum marginal revenue dekhein तो 54 माइनस फोर्टी दैट इज डॉलर फोर्टीन और यूनिट नंबर सिक्स के लिए अगर हम प्राइस देखें तो डॉलर नाइन है तो आप देख रहे हैं कि मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू यहां पर प्राइस के इक्वल नहीं है तो यही मैं समझाना चाह रहा हूं अब वो कौन सा केस होगा जिसमें मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू प्राइस के इक्वल होगा वो भी आपको मैं बता देता हूँ अगर हमारे पास प्राइस कांस्टेंट हो फॉर एग्जांपल फाइव डॉलर्स फाइव डॉलर्स फाइव डॉलर्स एंड फाइव डॉलर्स 
और यहाँ पर हम क्वांटिटी ले लें जीरो वन टू थ्री और यहाँ पर हम टोटल रेवेन्यू निकाल लें तो टोटल रेवेन्यू जीरो फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन और यहाँ से जब आप मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू कैलकुलेट करेंगे विच इज़ द एडिशन इन टोटल रेवेन्यू सो फाइव माइनस जीरो इज फाइव टेन माइनस फाइव इज फाइव एंड फिफ्टीन माइनस टेन इज फाइव सो यू कैन सी हेयर दैट इन दैट केस मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू एंड प्राइस दे आर इक्वल बट हियर मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू एंड प्राइस दे आर नॉट इक्वल सो दैट इज वाई आई हैव यूज द वर्ड दैट मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू मे और मे नॉट बी द सेम एज द प्राइस ऑफ एडिशनल यूनिट सोल्ड और आई नेक्स्ट इज एवरेज रेवेन्यू इट इज टोटल रेवेन्यू डिवाइडेड बाय आउटपुट सोल्ड सो टोटल रेवेन्यू डिवाइडेड बाय क्वांटिटी दैट इज एवरेज रेवेन्यू सो इफ क्वांटिटी इज फाइव यूनिट टोटल रेवेन्यू इज फाइव हंड्रेड देन फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव दैट विल बी इक्वल टू डॉलर हंड्रेड इट इज कॉल्ड एवरेज रेवेन्यू एवरेज रेवेन्यू इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू प्राइस Average revenue is always equal to price. Now let me show you why. You know what is the formula for total revenue? Price into quantity. Price into quantity, right? And what is the formula for average revenue? Total revenue divided by quantity. Now instead of total revenue, you put the value of total revenue here. So it will become price into quantity divided by quantity, and quantity will be cancelled, and the remaining is price. So you can see here. that average revenue is equal to price and whenever we have to find the price of the product we use average revenue in next topic market structure uh in the diagrams we use the word average revenue and that is a replacement of the price price and average revenue both are the same any question no sir all right now we'll be discussing the revenue curves for perfect competition and imperfect competition so uh we are preparing for the next topic which is uh, market structure and uh, in the topic of market structure the revenue curves will be used and the market structure has two types perfect competition and uh, imperfect competition and imperfect competition has three types monopoly oligopoly and monopolistic competition uh, but irrespective of these types i'm not going to uh, discuss these three types here uh we are uh, discussing the general shapes of uh, revenue curves for perfect competition and for imperfect competition we will be discussing general shapes later on we'll be discussing what is the difference in the shapes of revenue curves in monopoly oligopoly and monopolistic competition but here uh we will generally discuss uh the types of revenue curves in perfect competition and in imperfect competition uh, remember if we talk about cost curves cost curves are the same for all types of market structure so uh same cost curves will be used in all types of market structures but revenue curves are different and uh, uh, revenue curves are different because uh, in perfect competition uh, the underlying assumption of the perfect competition is that uh, firms are price takers and they cannot influence the price in the market so they have to take whatever price market will decide firms will take the same price and that is why we assume that price is constant and due to this assumption the shape of the revenue curves in perfect competition will be different and in case of imperfect competition we assume that firms are price makers and they can influence the price in the market so when price will be decreased uh, that will be an incentive for uh, consumers and they will like to buy more quantity and hence the shape of the revenue curves will be different here because of the change in price so we are going to discuss the general shapes of uh, revenue curves in perfect competition and in imperfect competition to start with uh, revenue curves for perfect competition uh what is meant by perfect competition what are the features of perfect competition and what are the other details about perfect competition that will be discussed in the next topic which is uh, the topic of market structure but here we are just focusing on the revenue curves in perfect competition firms are price takers and price is constant so let's suppose that price is equal to dollar 5 and all the firms are selling the products at dollar 5 and no firm is able to change the price that is the assumption of perfect competition assuming that price is constant for all the quantity which the firm is selling constant price and this is the quantity 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 
we can calculate total revenue by using the formula price multiplied by quantity so 0 into 5 that is 0 uh, 5 into 1 that is 5 similarly other values of total revenue will be calculated now if we plot these uh, values of total revenue against quantity then we'll get this kind of graph which is a straight line so quantity and revenue and we are plotting these points 0 with 0 so this is the first point then 1 and 5 this is the second point 2 and 10 this is the third point and so on I uh, will plot other points and by joining uh, these points we will get a straight line total revenue uh, so this is the shape of total revenue in perfect competition now if we have to calculate marginal revenue we have to see the change in total revenue so 5 minus 0 that is 5 10 minus 5 that is 5 15 minus 10 5 20 minus 15 5 and 25 minus 20 that is 5 so marginal revenue is constant what will be the value of marginal revenue here we cannot define marginal revenue when quantity is zero because marginal revenue is defined only for additional units sold so here there is no additional units so no value of marginal revenue can be written here and uh, if we want to calculate average revenue which is total revenue divided by quantity so for this total revenue is zero and quantity is also zero so what will be the answer of this zero divided by zero this answer is not undefined you cannot get any answer here so that is why we have not written any value for quantity equal to zero for uh, unit number one so total revenue divided by quantity let me change the pen color so total revenue is five quantity is one so five divided by one that is equal to five ten divided by two that is equal to five 15 divided by 3 that is equal to 5 and similarly other values uh, can be calculated so total revenue divided by quantity that is average revenue and that is also constant and uh, also this marginal revenue and average revenue and price they are the same so price average revenue marginal revenue they are the same if we have to plot uh, uh, the marginal revenue or average revenue curves that will be uh, if quantity is 1 that marginal revenue is 5 so this will be the first point if quantity is 2 marginal revenue is again 5 this is the second point and similarly we can plot other points and by joining these points we'll get a straight line uh, average revenue and marginal revenue curve so if quantity will increase average revenue and marginal revenue will remain constant so in case of perfect competition since firms are price takers and price is constant so price average revenue and marginal revenue they are the same so ye ab aapne yaad rakhna hai ki perfect competition mein total revenue ki ye shape hogi quantity revenue aur marginal revenue ki ye shape hogi aur yahan se hum relationship bhi dekh sakte hain total revenue increase ho raha hai isliye marginal revenue positive hoga aur total revenue is increasing at constant rate that is why marginal revenue is constant and why is average revenue constant because price is constant because price and average revenue they are always the same so price is constant that is why average revenue is constant now if we want to derive the shape of uh, average revenue from uh, total revenue we have to uh, take certain points and then we have to draw rays starting from a region passing through these points so if we draw rays all the rays will pass through the same position and uh, rays will not shift because rays will not shift that is why we will assume that uh, uh, average revenue is constant there are you know various reasons for average revenue to be constant and total revenue is increasing that is why marginal revenue is positive and total revenue is increasing at constant rate because of constant rate marginal revenue is constant and here marginal revenue is equal to average revenue average revenue is equal to price so price marginal revenue average revenue all are the same here in case of perfect competition any question yeah pe competition bahut zyada hota hai Perfect competition में competition बहुत ज़्यादा होता है जी बिल्कुल ऐसी है लेकिन इसकी जो further details हैं वो मैं topic में discuss कराऊँगा कि perfect competition क्या होता है इसके क्या features होते हैं ये एक type का market structure है यानी market के features पटी define करते हैं कि competition perfect है या imperfect है तो वो बहुत सारे features हैं उसमें एक feature ये भी है कि market में sellers बहुत ज़्यादा होते हैं hundreds and thousands of sellers out there so next is the revenue curves for imperfect competition now here we'll discuss general shapes 
of revenue curves in imperfect competition you know uh, in case of imperfect competition we can discuss further three types monopoly oligopoly and monopolistic competition but uh, will not uh, uh, go into the specific shapes in each of the three categories we are discussing general shapes of revenue curves here in imperfect competition uh, firms are price makers but customers buy more quantity of goods at lower price according to law of demand so here we are uh, taking the price 11 10 9 8 and we are decreasing the price uh, so as a result of this quantity will increase 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on and um, by uh, using the formula price multiplied by quantity we can calculate total revenue so 11 multiplied by 0 that is 0 10 multiplied by 1 that is 10 9 multiplied by 2 18 8 multiplied by 3 24 and similarly we can calculate other values of total revenue and if we see total revenue that initially total revenue is starting from zero so i have started it from zero and then total revenue is increasing and reaching the maximum value of 30 so this is the maximum value of 30 and then total revenue will start decreasing and it will reach zero again so initially total revenue is increasing and then total revenue is decreasing and it has a maximum value as well so this is the shape of total revenue initially total revenue is increasing it reaches a maximum value then total revenue is decreasing now let's see the value of marginal revenue uh, so 10 minus 0 that is 10 18 minus 10 that is 8 24 minus 18 6 28 minus 24 that is 4 30 minus 28 2 and 30 minus 30 that is 0 so when marginal revenue is 0 that is the point when total revenue is maximum so when marginal revenue is 0 total revenue is maximum then 28 minus 30 that is negative 2 24 minus 28 that is negative 4 and similarly other values of marginal revenue can be calculated so a marginal revenue has some positive values then a zero value then some negative values so there is a positive side of marginal revenue and then there is a, a, a point where marginal revenue is zero and then marginal revenue becomes negative and when marginal revenue is positive total revenue increases so when marginal revenue is positive total revenue increases because total revenue is the sum of marginal values so when marginal value is positive we'll add something positive and total revenue will increase but when marginal revenue is negative we'll add some negative value and that negative value will make total revenue fall so that is why when when marginal revenue is negative total revenue is decreasing now let's look at the values of average revenue to start with 10 divided by 1 that is equal to 10 18 divided by 2 that is equal to 9 and 24 divided by 3 that is equal to 8 so total revenue divided by quantity by using this we can calculate the values of average revenue and we'll observe that the values of average revenue they are the same as the values of price average revenue is the same as price now if we have to plot average revenue we'll uh, see that average revenue is decreasing all the way to zero so this average revenue is decreasing up to the zero value this average revenue is plotted by taking quantity on x-axis and revenue or price on y-axis this price is average revenue and uh, this average revenue and versus quantity that is also the demand curve so average revenue curve is the same as demand curve demand curve shows the negative relationship between price of the product and quantity of the good and same is with the average revenue curve demand curve is downward sloping average revenue curve is downward sloping and average revenue and price both are the same so whatever relationship is between price and quantity the same relationship is there with the average revenue and quantity that is why average revenue curve is the same as demand curve any question sir ye demand curve wali baat samjhate hain ki kaise ho sakta hai acha ji demand curve kya cheez hai क्वांटिटी और प्राइस में रिलेशन सपोज कर लो कि यहाँ पर मैंने प्राइस और क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ली है प्राइस इज लेट सपोज ट्वेंटी डॉलर क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज हंड्रेड प्राइस इज टेन डॉलर क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज टू हंड्रेड और ये मैंने डिमांड कर बना ली अब प्राइस है टेन और ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी प्राइस पर जो क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड है दैट इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड और टेन प्राइस पर क्वान्टिटी डिमांडेड इज इक्वल टू टू 
दैट इज डिमांड का प्राइस डिक्रीज हो रही है क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इंक्रीज हो रही है ए से बी पर मूव कर रहे हैं दिस इज एक्सटेंशन इन डिमांड ये आपने ए एस में पढ़ा हुआ है राइट यस सर अब मैं इस प्राइस की जगह पर एवरेज रेवेन्यू लिख सकता हूँ बताए जरा जी सर क्यों लिख सकता हूँ क्योंकि प्राइस और एवरेज रेवेन्यू सेम होते हैं तो ये फिर एवरेज रेवेन्यू कब बन जाएगी नहीं सर एवरेज रेवेन्यू तो नहीं होगी क्यों नहीं होगी एवरेज रेवेन्यू सर क्योंकि अगर हम वाई एक्सिस पे एवरेज रेवेन्यू दिखा रहे हैं जी तो फिर कर सेम तो नहीं हो सकती एवरेज रेवेन्यू कब हम कैसे बनाते हैं एक साइड पे क्वांटिटी लेते हैं एक साइड पे रेवेन्यू लेते हैं अगर हम यहाँ पर एवरेज रेवेन्यू ले लें तो वो एवरेज रेवेन्यू कब हो जाएगी और एवरेज रेवेन्यू और प्राइस सेम है सर ये देखे ना ये यहाँ पर हमारे पास वाई एक्सिस पे एवरेज रेवेन्यू है ठीक हो गया और एक्स एक्सिस पे क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड है बिल्कुल ठीक है तो इसकी कर्व जो बनेगी वो एवरेज रेवेन्यू है हाँ ये एवरेज रेवेन्यू को शो कर रही है ना तो एवरेज रेवेन्यू ही होगी इसको डिमांड कर्व भी कह सकते हो आप एवरेज रेवेन्यू का वो डिमांड कब सेम है क्योंकि एवरेज रेवेन्यू और प्राइस सेम है तो यहाँ पर प्राइस लिख दो या एवरेज रेवेन्यू लिख दो एक ही बात है यहाँ पर प्राइस लिख दो एवरेज रेवेन्यू लिख दो एक ही बात है यहाँ पर एवरेज रेवेन्यू लिख दो या डिमांड कब लिख दो एक ही बात है और ये मैंने आपको बताया है कि एवरेज रेवेन्यू प्राइस के इक्वल क्यों होता है क्योंकि एवरेज रेवेन्यू है टोटल रेवेन्यू डिवाइडेड बाय क्वांटिटी और टोटल रेवेन्यू है प्राइस इनटू क्वांटिटी ये टोटल रेवेन्यू का फॉर्मूला हो गया क्वान्टिटी से क्वान्टिटी कैंसिल और ये प्राइस तो एवरेज रेवेन्यू हमेशा प्राइस के इक्वल होता है इसलिए जो प्राइस का रिलेशनशिप है वो एवरेज रेवेन्यू का ठीक है सर इसलिए एवरेज रेवेन्यू कर्व को हम डिमांड कर्व ही कहेंगे इसको एवरेज रेवेन्यू कर्व भी कह सकते हैं डिमांड कर्व भी कह सकते हैं अच्छा जी अब ये देखें कि डिमांड कर्व के जो मिड पॉइंट है ये डिमांड कर्व का मिड पॉइंट है यहाँ पर अगर आप इलास्टिसिटी का कॉन्सेप्ट जहन में ले गए जो आपने एस में पढ़ा था तो मिड पॉइंट पर डिमांड कर्व के मिड पॉइंट पर यूनिट इलास्टिक डिमांड होती है उससे ऊपर वाले पोर्शन पर इलास्टिक डिमांड नीचे वाले पोर्शन पर इन इलास्टिक डिमांड जहाँ पर एवरेज रेवेन्यू का मिड पॉइंट है वहाँ पर मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू का जीरो है अब यहाँ से एक चीज समझो और ये आप लोग जरा इस पर गौर भी करना कि देखो एवरेज रेवेन्यू जैसे जैसे हम क्वांटिटी को बढ़ा रहे हैं एवरेज रेवेन्यू डिक्रीज हो रहा है ठीक है इसी वजह से एवरेज रेवेन्यू कर्व डाउनवर्ड जा रही है क्योंकि एवरेज रेवेन्यू डिक्रीज हो रहा है क्वांटिटी बढ़ाने के साथ लेकिन एवरेज रेवेन्यू में डिक्रीज कितनी आ रही है एक डॉलर की एक डॉलर एक डॉलर वन डॉलर वन डॉलर लेकिन अगर आप मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू को देखो तो मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू में कितनी डिक्रीज आ रही है टू डॉलर्स टू डॉलर्स टू डॉलर्स टू डॉलर्स टू डॉलर्स तो जो मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू में डिक्रीज है दैट इज मोर दैट इज डबल एज कम्पेयर टू डिक्रीज इन एवरेज रेवेन्यू सो डिक्रीज इन मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू इज ग्रेटर देन डिक्रीज इन एवरेज रेवेन्यू नंबर वन नंबर टू डिक्रीज इन मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू इज टू टाइम्स डिक्रीज इन एवरेज रेवेन्यू अब क्योंकि मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू का रेट ऑफ डिक्रीज डबल है पहले तो देखो मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू में रेट ऑफ डिक्रीज ज्यादा है इस वजह से मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू स्टीपर है एज कम्पेयर टू एवरेज रेवेन्यू ये फास्टर डिक्रीज को शो कर रहा है दूसरी चीज मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू में जो डिक्रीज है दैट इज टू टाइम्स एज कम्पेयर टू डिक्रीज इन एवरेज रेवेन्यू इस वजह से जहां पर एवरेज रेवेन्यू का मिड पॉइंट आएगा वहां पर मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू जीरो हो जाएगा सो so, अगर क्वेश्चन है दैट व्हाई इज मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू जीरो एट मिड पॉइंट ऑफ एवरेज रेवेन्यू तो इसका आंसर क्या होगा बिकॉज रेट ऑफ डिक्रीज ऑफ मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू इज डबल एज कंपेयर टू रेट ऑफ डिक्रीज ऑफ एवरेज रेवेन्यू और स्लोप ऑफ मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू इज डबल एज कंपेयर टू द स्लोप ऑफ एवरेज रेवेन्यू तो ये कुछ पॉइंट्स हैं अब आप देखें रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टोटल रेवेन्यू एंड एवरेज रेवेन्यू अगर आप ये आपके पास टोटल रेवेन्यू है ये रेज आप देखें रेज डाउनवर्ड शिफ्ट हो रही हैं तो रेज जब भी डाउनवर्ड शिफ्ट होती हैं टोटल के ग्राफ के ऊपर तो एवरेज का ग्राफ डिक्रीजिंग हो तो ये भी एक लॉजिक है वैसे तो मैंने आपको टेबल भी बना के दिखा दी है टेबल से भी आपको पता चल रहा है सो इनिशियली टोटल रेवेन्यू इंक्रीजेस देन रीचेस मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एंड देन डिक्रीजेस एवरेज रेवेन्यू इज डिक्रीजिंग बिकॉज रेज ऑन टोटल रेवेन्यू कर्व विल शिफ्ट डाउनवर्ड्स ये भी आप रीजन लिख सकते हैं ये भी रीजन लिख सकते हैं एवरेज रेवेन्यू इसलिए डिक्रीज हो रहा है क्योंकि प्राइस डिक्रीज हो रही है ये प्राइस है ये डिक्रीज होगी तो एवरेज रेवेन्यू भी डिक्रीज होगा एवरेज रेवेन्यू इज द सेम एज प्राइस प्राइस इज डिक्रीजिंग सो एवरेज रेवेन्यू इज डिक्रीजिंग 
टोटल रेवेन्यू इज मैक्सिमम एट मिड पॉइंट ऑफ एवरेज रेवेन्यू जहां पर एवरेज रेवेन्यू का मिड पॉइंट होगा वहां मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू जीरो होगा और वहां टोटल रेवेन्यू मैक्सिमम होगा एवरेज रेवेन्यू कर्व इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड डिमांड कर्व और डिमांड कर्व के तीन पोर्शन हैं ये इलास्टिक वाला पोर्शन है ये यूनिट इलास्टिक है और ये इन इलास्टिक पोर्शन है अब अगर डिमांड इलास्टिक हो तो उसमें प्राइस डिक्रीज होने से क्या होता है टोटल रेवेन्यू इंक्रीज होता है आप देखें टोटल रेवेन्यू इंक्रीज हो रहा है लेकिन अगर इन इलास्टिक डिमांड हो तो प्राइस डिक्रीज होने से टोटल रेवेन्यू डिक्रीज होता है और ये देखें टोटल रेवेन्यू डिक्रीज हो रहा है तो ये बेसिकली टोटल रेवेन्यू और एवरेज रेवेन्यू का रिलेशन है कोई क्वेश्चन आपका नहीं सर और नेक्स्ट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टोटल रेवेन्यू एंड मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू Initially, total revenue is increasing at decreasing rate. Since total revenue is increasing, so marginal revenue is positive. Decreasing rate का मतलब है marginal revenue will decrease. When total revenue is maximum, marginal revenue is zero. So this is the relationship between any marginal and any total. Whenever marginal is zero, total will be maximum or minimum or constant. When total revenue is decreasing, marginal revenue is negative. So the negative value of marginal revenue shows that total revenue is decreasing, and marginal revenue curve is downward sloping. A relationship between marginal revenue and average revenue. These two graphs. Marginal revenue and average revenue both are downward sloping. Why? Because of decrease in price. Marginal revenue is less than average revenue. So the value of marginal revenue is less than the value of average revenue. Marginal revenue curve is lower than average revenue curve. Rate of decrease of marginal revenue is double as compared to rate of decrease of average revenue. And marginal revenue is zero at midpoint of average revenue. So that is the relationship between marginal revenue and average revenue, and that's it about revenue curves. Our next topic will be profit, and we'll be discussing profit maximization rule for perfect competition and imperfect competition. That is the end of today's lecture.